Hey guys, I've been testing Moolani Shilanen a lot in speedruns. This is my new favorite team and this is my best gameplay. It's a full C0 team with Surf's Up, Moolani signature weapon and four star weapons on the teammates. Here's the gameplay and then I'll share my thoughts after. So the first question is, do I think this is the best Moolani team, either Sucrose or Cosmo? And honestly, I think for many players, probably not. But I think if you're a really skilled player, if you know what you're doing, then yeah, probably a team like this is her best overall team. First of all, the reason why I say not for everyone is because I know Swar setups can be very difficult and off-putting for a lot of casual players but there's a lot of good things going for Sucrose and Kazuwa. First thing obviously they're buffing, second thing obviously they're grouping but the third reason and it might go under the radar is the pirate absorption with their bursts. I find if you can utilize this it allows your team to be less reliant on Pyronado and always needing to burst with Xiongling which can make her feel less clunky as well. That's something I've realized actually is the higher skill teams like this or this you could argue it can make Xiongling feel less bad. If you have enough investment, a lot of the time you can clear with just Guava. Whereas I feel like a team with less DPS, maybe something like this, for example, you're more reliant on constantly bursting with Xiongling, which means it can make Xiongling feel even worse than normal. So yeah, I think the animals just give so much flexibility, but yeah, it's not for everyone. I don't want to say skill issue, but I guess you can call it a skill issue, whatever you want. Now, as for deciding between Kazuha or Sucrose, I think Sucrose is actually honestly stronger overall, mostly because of her super fast animations and the fact that she's giving you EM and EM is not diluted. Your team isn't going to have extra EM buffs. Whereas Kazuha, as we know, gives similar buffs to Shilonen, so you're making each other's buffs a bit weaker. It's not a huge deal, but that extra EM from Sucrose can add up. But I would say Sucrose is a lot harder. Kazuha is easier to play and he's more comfortable. So if you want a decent middle ground, I would say Kazuha is a good option. 
And yeah, for more casual team recommendations, I didn't get any speed run with these casual teams, but I would recommend something like Candice, who's still a very good option, or maybe Zhongli, who's a very good option. I still don't know if I really recommend Emily outside of if you want just really comfortable gameplay since she obviously doesn't buff Moolani and I think even if you're not like a super tryhard speedrunner you still generally want to aim for a Moolani team where all three of her teammates are buffing her. So I actually tested using both Archaic Petra and an instructor set on Shangling. And as you can see, I actually got similar times overall. So you can use both, but something I actually noticed when testing this out, and it's the reason why my Petro run was faster than my instructor run in chamber three against the boss, which is that if you're using instructor on Shangling, you can't actually do a proper setup because when you apply Hydra with Murlani and then you crystallize with Shilonen, when you swirl with Sucrose, that doesn't actually leave you Hydro for your Shangling to vape. And Shangling needs to vape in order to activate this instructor set. This can also be an issue if you don't have Pyronado and you're just using Guaba, because obviously Guaba, you have to wait for Guaba to vape. So that's also clunky. And in comparison with Archaic Petra, it is more flexible in that regard because Shangling, you can always just pick up this Crystallized Shard and buff your Hydro. But Petra is not perfect because then you're running into issues where sometimes you might be picking up the Shard with Shilonen or even Sucrose. So it might require a bit of RNG actually. It's not too bad though. I do pick up the Crystal more often than not with Shangling, but it can happen and it can make it a bit clunky. But yeah, I do recommend either one of these. And the ER is very similar to other Moralani teams. It's not that bad. Of an issue especially if you have fav and especially because most people are also using fav on shilonen now finally do i think you should pull shilonen for your moalani i do think shilonen is an overall upgrade for moalani and that's not just damage wise as well it's also because she's a healer and as i said in a previous video it is quite difficult to fit in some sort of defensive utility into your moalani teams so not just damage wise she's an upgrade but the overall utility wise in your Moolani team she's very nice for that too and obviously Shilonen is good for your account too she probably works in some of your other teams she works great in the theater for geo characters she's also great in the overworld so I do think for most people it is worth getting Shilonen however I'm sorry but there is one thing I do think people need to consider which is why you might not want to get Shilonen and that's because if you're not a spender say for example if you're a free to play there is a good chance the Pyro Archon will be coming soon and there is a good chance the Pyro Archon will have off-field Pyro utility and therefore she could have good synergy with Moolani. Like even though I think Shilonen is a great teammate for Moolani and a damage upgrade. To be brutally honest, strictly DPS wise, I don't think she's a massive upgrade. Obviously a team like this doesn't have the healing but strictly DPS wise. Whereas I think an off-field Pyro applier with better quality of life than Shangling People have been dying for a better quality of life, so I think that would be an even bigger deal. Like I said, what Shilonen does have is her damage increases last a long time. She's easy to use, works with several teams, has healing. But I do think the Pyro Archon will also be a damage increase and will also be useful for several teams on your account, will also be useful in the overworld. And of course, I think lots of players will always want to be saving for the new Archon. So I think even if the Pyro Archon isn't the perfect replacement for Shang, I think most players will want to pull for her anyway and yeah that's the point look how many Prima gems you have and if you have enough to save for the Pyro Archon say for example if she comes in 5.3 and if you aren't going to be able to guarantee both Shilonen and the Pyro Archon then you might want to consider skipping Shilonen and saving for the Pyro Archon instead so yeah I think that's a pretty reasonable take you don't need Shilonen for Moolani and I think if you need the Primos for the Pyro Archon you might want to prefer getting her instead but yeah i had a lot of fun playing this team it's one of my strongest teams on my account and yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed that video i'll also add a bit of gameplay showing my kazuha run and yeah thanks for watching guys into the wind
Shut up! Eat this! Start 